Hi everyone, Alex from Hammer Missions. Uh, we're at it again. We're out doing another end-to-end -end video. So what we're going to do this time round is we're actually going to use uh, Hammer to um, do some measurements of a residential roof. So as you can see here on the screen, we've got a, uh, a residential area. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our 3D map. What I'm going to do is actually going to map the whole of the uh, the whole of the plot here. But what we're going to do is we're going to take some measurements from from the roof here. So let's create our 3D plan. Strap polygon over the top. Press OK. I probably want to do actually is bring this out a little bit more. So you've got a bit more of an angle there. We're going to change this from 164 feet. I'm going to pop that down to 70. And the ground offsets is about 30 feet. So we'll change that to 30. As you can see, got quite, in, quite an intense amount of lines. Let's so straighten this out a bit. I'm actually, we might want to bring this in a little bit more. See if we can get that flight time down a bit. It's probably a little too far over at the moment. Change that to our Mavic 2 camera. And there we go. Once we change it to the Mavic 2, it's brought it down to one battery, 16.8 minutes, and roughly 344 pictures. And try and straighten that line out. There we go. So now we've got our, our mapping mission planned. What we can do is we can then push that to the app and then move out to the field, which is what I will do next. So I'll go and get my kit sorted out and then we'll be on our way. So here we go, we've got the kit all ready to go using the uh, Mavic 2 as per usual. So uh, let's get it all packed up and um, we can get out in the field. There we go, let's get the drone all set up so we're ready to go. Good to go. So now we're back from the field and we've uploaded all of our photos. So I did that off the video because you would have seen the upload process quite a few times now from our other end to end videos. So as you can see, we've got all our, all our pictures here, all of our thumbnails. And again, all of these photos here relate to our thumbnails. So if I was to click on one, You'll see that this is the part that was captured via this dot here. Again, if I was to come over the roof, there we go, there's the roof. So, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go ahead and we are going to process these photos into a 3D map. And from that 3D map, we should be able to take our measurements. So I'm gonna go ahead and process, and then we'll come back, and then we shall have a look at the measurements. So we've now processed all our images. As you can see here, we've got our standard map with all our picture points on it. And again, if I click these, that takes you to the relevant photo. Let's go over the top of the house. There we go. So now, because we processed, we can press our 3D icon. And here we go. Again, all in 3D, you have all your picture points at the top, all your capture points, should I say. So if we turn those off, there we go. There's our 3D render. 
as I said, we captured the the whole plot. And what we can do is we can move directly here over the top of the house. If we zoom in, you see the details pretty good. And we can actually start to create some measurements. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure this part here. And that will give us a measurement of 8.59 meters, as you can see. We can measure this part here, 4.34, 4.28, slightly out due to the uh, the angle I've got here. You can also measure an area. So what we'll do is we'll delete these ones here just by pressing our dustbin icon we can remove those measurements and what we can do is we could actually measure if we wanted to the entire area so this whole area here by pressing our area icon we can mark our area thirty seven point three seven meters squared we can even measure volumes if we wanted to so we could actually measure for example we could measure the volume of this building here by selecting our volume icon This takes a little while to calculate. So we shall just wait until it's calculated the volume. And there we go, 15.96. So we put one more measurement on there. We could put a, if we wanted to, we could put a height measurement. So we can measure from here to here that gives us our height in meters but we can also if needs be we could annotate these images and keep the measurements on there as well so by holding down shift what I can do is we want this piece here which on the corresponding photo would be here we could annotate on this side. We'll call it a stack for the time being. So your measurements stick all the way around as you go. And we could not only measure the house, we could measure the length of this path. Six point eleven meters. Now we've looked at measurements, we can also go on and we can share. So we can share our project externally or internally. We can also report on our project, which means any annotations. So let's make an annotation. I don't know, let's just grab this one. If we put car, for example. So any annotations that you create on your project, once you go to report, those annotations will be reported. You also get a link in that report on each annotation that takes you to this page. So you can see where your annotations lie. So there you go. That is measurements and, and how, we, how we measure a structure. If you like our video, 
give us a like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to, uh, to leave us a comment in the comments box below. Uh, if you need to get hold of us, we are on team at hammermissions.com. And thank you very much for watching. See you again.